we've still got this momentum, you know, recovery seems to be on track, but how concerned should we be that this gap between France and Germany is widening? We should be a bit concerned. Yeah, France is the second biggest economy in the Eurozone. And what we're seeing here is seeing France business conditions continue to deteriorate and you know deteriorating at a faster rate and that means that France is a big drag on the Eurozone. You've got to remember that France is also a you know a producer which exports to other Eurozone countries and also an area which imports a lot from the Eurozone. So if France isn't doing well, that could be a bit of a problem for other markets as well. I mean the other thing that's really clear about the data as well is it's very manufacturing led. When are we going to see the services part of the economy really push forward? We'll see that start to push forward when domestic markets start to recover. Now, as you say, lopsided towards manufacturing. And manufacturers have been boosted in recent months by a good recovery in global uh, trade volumes and trade flows. And that's been good for Germany. And that's been good for Germany. Germany's particularly good at that. And with the uh, China numbers we have showing China stabilizers, Germany also exports a lot to China. So that's beneficial for them as well. But for other countries in the Eurozone, they're also seeing new exports rise, you know, but it's um, for the service sector, which is more domestic facing, particularly for consumer services where it's high unemployment. That's where we're seeing a lot of weakness. Until that improves, until jobs are created, we're going to see a service sector continue to only eke out meagre growth. Now let's go back to Germany and France. I mean, Germany's obviously done, you know, a lot of the reforms. Um, and one would argue that their timing, timing has been right. But for France, they're trying to push through reforms, especially in the labour markets when times are tough. So, so surely we're going to see that this gap will continue widening for some time. This could be the case. And obviously for France, the best time to make these changes is when the economy is doing well. Now that opportunity has been missed with what we've seen in the last four or five years. It's very difficult to push through structural reform when things are going badly. Germany managed to get most of this out of the way in the early 2000s. So they've been benefiting from that, particularly in the labour market. Now, the big question is, obviously we've got Merkel uh, being sworn in tomorrow. Will we see with the coalition she's had to form, will that remove some of those um, flexibilities in the labour market and uh, force Germany more towards France? It's uh, too early to say, but that's still an option.